Update. My husband blamed his cheating on me because of my underwear. Original post. We, female 35 and male 36, have been married for a little under two months, together for four years. I loved him very much, and I thought he loved me too. Besides the usual quarrel and disagreements about dull and mundane tasks, we're good. He never complained about anything. Never. Our intimate life was amazing, and he told me so very often. He even texted me when we're at work all kind of NSFW stuff that made me blush in my office. Friday, I had only one morning meeting. Me and my colleagues went for a lunch afterwards and then we decided to go home afterwards. We checked with our supervisor and she said it was fine. Then I found my husband with another woman in our bed. I started running away in shock and he couldn't really leave the apartment before putting his clothes on. Enough time for me to take the elevator alone. He's been calling and texting me all weekend. I'm at my brother's place. My brother and my sister-in-law don't know the details, just that my husband was cheating. This morning my husband came knocking. He begged audience and asked my brother to let him speak to me. My brother asked me if I wanted him to kick my husband out. But I told him that now I wasn't in total shock anymore, maybe I should just hear him out. So my brother, sister-in-law and my baby nephew left for a brunch. My husband looked like he has been crying the whole weekend and wanted to hug me. I told him to stay on his side of the kitchen island and not to come nearer, or I would scream. He started first with a half apology and later explained why he was cheating on me. I never made effort for him. I'm always wearing comfortable underwear and never the sexy type. That's a turn off for him. He felt like I didn't really care. I was stunned and didn't understand what he meant. Why didn't you tell me this? Why not try to buy sexy lingerie like many men did for their wives? He said he didn't want to offend me by suggesting that my underwear were dull and a turn off. So, it was basically my fault that you cheated. He didn't say no, just looked at me crying his eyes out. I tried to remember what the girl was wearing but I couldn't remember because my eyes went blurry the second I saw them. He asked me what I wanted to do, that we could fix this. He asked me if I wanted to know more about the woman in my bed. She meant nothing. I interrupted him immediately and told him that I was good. Then to get him out, I told him I needed time to think, even though I already made up my mind. I just didn't want him to stay longer to try to talk and argue and cry more. He is left now. I don't know what to feel. I never knew underwear were this big of a deal in relationships. I love cotton, neutral colors, mostly Calvin Klein basic. I have a very large chest, and honestly, any sexy bra is just a pain in the butt having on a whole day, always trying to adjust my babies in the cups, big-breasted girls will recognize my issue. Dealing with all the unsolicited glaring from guys and even girls, when wearing underwear that shows the shape. Plus, I don't feel unsexy in my very comfortable undies at all. Not once. I love my body. I work out one and a half to two hours a day, and I'm very confident in my own skin. And how could he say that he wasn't satisfied with our intimate life when we're intimate at least four times a week? Was it all a lie when he said that I drove him crazy? And how I could turn him on with one look at him? I will never understand men. He gave me a false sense of confidence. And why did I catch them now? Couldn't I do it just two months ago? Now I need to find lawyers and start a freaking process that will take two years of my life. At least. Screw you Kevin. Really freaking screw you. I hope you get destroyed by karma wearing sexy red lace g-string. Now for the top advice before reading the updates. He literally made the whole underwear thing up. He is spiraling, trying to think of anything to put the blame on anyone by himself. You guys were getting down four days a week. Yeah, there is no way he gave a damn about what you were wearing. And even if he did, there are about a thousand other ways he could have approached it. He's just trying to come up with something to put the blame on you. I'm so sorry OP, you didn't deserve any of this. Get rid of him. There are countless guys who would be thrilled to be with you. Right. I was just thinking how he'd rather cheat than have an honest conversation with his wife. Either he's a coward or a coward. Wild guess this wasn't the first time. Please go get tested as a P. Well, yes this too. I didn't even think about STD. It's not your underwear, it's him being crappy. That's a classic tactic when a person is caught cheating. Try to put the blame on you, especially if they can make it about something that would make you self-conscious. It's a manipulative attack, and you deserve so much better. Oh freaking please. It was not because of underwear. I can't roll my eyes back far enough. You deserve better than this trash. Once you divorce him, make sure you send pics of the new underwear you bought. When I'm so angry, it comes in waves. All I want to do is to share pics on my Instagram stories in sexy underwear, where only him can see my story. Then I come to my senses. Now for the first update. Hi everyone, since I got so much support last time I was here, I'm back for more attention. 
I didn't find my story anywhere but thank goodness I still had the draft on my phone. I have it on my page. I have spoken to a lawyer, and unfortunately annulment isn't an option for us, even though we have been married for this short period of time. So, I filed for divorce instead. My husband was so angry about it. So angry. He thought I was moving on too fast with everything and without even properly hearing him out. What more does he have to say? He texted me that this couldn't just be it. That he won't kiss me again. The last time he held and kissed me, he didn't know it was going to be the last time, or he wouldn't have let go. But then he wouldn't be able to bet Miss Sexy Panties, would he? Because he was in my bed with her a couple of hours after our last kiss. He's not the only one thinking that I'm moving too fast though. My family is reserved about it, but I have sense that they also agreed with my husband about giving it more time. My brother even told me that I was welcomed in his home as long as I wanted, so I didn't need to make any rash decisions. This hurt me. My mother-in-law called me a few times, and she apologized and asked how I was doing. Yes, but she had ulterior motives too. She is worried about the financial part of the divorce. She asked me whether I thought being married for under two months would make me entitled to my husband's property. I don't know if I can take half when we've been married such a short period of time. I still haven't met my lawyer yet, so I don't know anything about division of property. My husband bought us the apartment we live in. Also, he owns some other properties that we rent out in a small lake cottage. I kinda understand where she's coming from, since I myself don't feel that I'm entitled to half. Now to what my husband did yesterday. As I said, my husband is very angry with me, and yesterday I knew the full extent of it. I received a delivery to my brother's house. A beautiful gift wrapped box. Inside was a beautiful lace underwear. My size. Thank goodness my brother and sister-in-law were out on their usual walk and Sunday brunch, because I broke down crying. And I cried for two hours straight. After I calmed down, I knew that my husband, after coming to his senses, would regret his very petty actions, and would start reaching out to me. When my brother came home, I told him that I was going to visit my best friend and that he couldn't tell my husband where I was. My brother knew something was wrong because my eyes were still swollen, but he respected my wishes that I didn't want to talk about the details as it's so embarrassing. I just told him my husband did something hurtful and that he would try to apologize once he calmed down. I was right because my husband went to my brother's house asking about me because I wasn't picking up or answer him. He called and sent me at least 50 messages. I didn't read any because I had muted my phone. I also called in sick. Today my husband apparently showed up to my workplace hoping he would see me there. I'm so devastated and angry. I start crying the moment I'm alone. Why did he think he needed to hurt me even more? Wasn't cheating on my in my own bed in the place I felt the safest, my home, enough humiliation for my husband? Why does he hate me so much? Just because I followed my broken heart and filed for divorce. I thought he knew me. I thought he knew I always followed my heart or I wouldn't have married him in the first place. I was so close to putting the underwear on and blast Instagram with pictures of me in them, or better yet in my Calvin Klein grey cotton ones. I'm happy I came to my senses and put my phone aside. Is the pain I'm feeling ever going to go away? Edit. Okay, I did something petty. I made an Instagram story with my Calvin Klein, face not shown, with Beyonce's cozy as background music. I know I'm going to regret it because of the pettiness, but right now I feel a rush. About the underwear I received yesterday. I'm not gonna burn or return them or cut them. I'm going to use them next time I'm hooking up. That's probably what my husband intended for me to do with them. And I'm going to oblige. I'm not American. In my country, it doesn't matter if he had the property before or after we got married. Everything we own together or separately is joint property and will be divided 50-50. My husband doesn't seem bothered by this yet. I think he's busy trying to figure out how to stop the divorce altogether right now. His family on the other hand are more outspoken about the division of the assets. They're also trying for an annulment. You could take solace in the fact you came to know about your husband's infidelity within two months of marriage, rather than 15 years later after having two to three kids. The reason he gave for cheating is gaslighting. It's as simple as that. And he blamed it on you. He's a covert narcissist. I know how that word is often thrown around and commonly used, but now you got to see his true face. And if loses half his properties, then good. That's karma. He got what he freaking deserve. Go to therapy with time and therapy you will heal a lot. Yes, I really wished I caught him before we got married, but this is the next best scenario. Because we were planning our life and how many children we wanted, their names, everything. I'm lucky I found out sooner. In terms of the situation with your mother-in-law talking about the financial aspect of the oncoming divorce, my advice is no longer speak to anyone about the financial aspect of your marriage, especially to him or his family. If they have an issue with it, tell them to speak to your lawyer from here on out. 
Remember, whatever you say, Kenan will be used against you in the court of law. Divorce settlements do not differ from anything else. Most states it's a 50-50 ordeal that isn't dealt with through premarital mediation or prenup. The second you guys sign your marriage license, it goes to 50-50 in a court of law, regardless of the length of time of the marriage itself. You tried to get an annulment, so there is proof right there that this wasn't some sort of premeditated attempt at someone's property. He messed up and that's that. That's what I'm planning to do. I'm too angry to text him back right now. He is still calling and texting, but when I've met with my lawyer face to face, I will ask my husband and his family to start emailing the lawyer instead of me. Girl, just block your mother-in-law. None of this is her business, and she isn't going to be a party in the divorce, is she? You didn't marry her, but you need your family with you. He's most certainly getting in their ears. Tell them everything, or at least talk to one, whichever you're more comfortable with, and let them explain everything. Him sending you that package is outrageous. The excuses are laughable, and I know finding out after being married two months is crap, but at least he didn't take years off you. You're still young and can find love with someone amazing, because he sounds like a complete idiot. Screw him. People like him love control, to be in power. That's why he sent you the underwear. You had all the control in the situation and he tried to get the upper hand. You deserve and will get so much better. And this whole thing will feel like a bad dream. That's exactly what my friend and I talked about. I was trying to move forward and start the process, so he had to send me the underwear to gain back some power. I don't know. I'm betting he's trying to fix it by sending the sexy undies. You had countered his BS excuse of the cause being not having sexy undies by asking why didn't he gift you what he liked as many a husband does. So, like the little boy who learned how an I'm sorry makes thing right with mommy, he thought sending you what he wants is going to mend the issue, leading into his bad act being totally your fault. Not just a swing and a miss, but a foul. Last petty update. I have now spoken to my husband. We talked about the practical things and I told him that from now on he could talk to my lawyer. He asked me if he could see and talk to me in person. I said no. He then told me that he knew my Instagram story was for him. He said he was sorry for what he made me feel. He always thought I was beautiful and it never had anything to do with my underwear. I said I know. He apologized for sending me the lingerie. He said he was angry with me when he did it. I said I know. He asked me to burn or throw them away because I'm beautiful even wearing a potato sack. I told him that I was going to use them the next time I have sex and I will remember him and thank him for the confidence boost. He went silent for a few moments and then said, I deserve this I guess. I have cried since this morning. I feel like a child fighting a petty fight, but I'm done now. Nothing more to say. Why do people always say their cheating meant nothing? Isn't that worse? You threw away something real and wonderful for nothing. Reminded me of this. Ross, the important thing was that she meant nothing to me. Rachel, and yet she was worth jeopardizing our relationship. And of this from the movie Wolf, Charlotte Randall, I never loved Stuart. It was a mistake, Will. I'm going to talk to him. Stuart, never for one moment, mentioned he loved me. Will Randall, you think that makes it better? To betray me over and over again with a man that meant nothing to you. To know you betrayed me for nothing. Oh, that is so sad. Poor OP, blaming her underwear for his lack of character. I always roll my eyes at in-laws who immediately begin to protect assets and or gaslight the wrong party. Like, you don't feel entitled to half of everything after two months as comments. Mother-in-law needs to be after her son. He is the one who made the decision to risk giving away half of his assets for a pair of sexy underpants. He just didn't think he would ever get caught. 100% he was cheating all along. You don't just wake up one day two months after you get married to your partner of four years and decide to find a random hookup. I take him to the cleaners in the divorce. Consider it the idiot tax. It wasn't two months, it was four years. He said he didn't want to offend me by suggesting that my underwear were dull and a turn off. If this is true, someone didn't think this through very well, because the cheating is even more offensive than complaining about plain underwear. OP's ex is an embarrassment to my gender. I think it's fair to say her ex didn't think a lot of things through very well if at all. 